I think I'm in someone's fucking backyard. Everyone seems to be inside, hiding from the gloomy day. I found somewhere to hide, to hide from the demons inside, but they always override my mind. I looked around and it still seemed like everyone was gone. So I made a run for it, in the back of the bushes. It sure as hell was gloomy. One morning, it was foggy. I was walking down the streets that I once used to know. I now know again, but it looks shittier than before. There were some cars, then silence. And then another car would pass by and more silence. There was this ice box and I thought it looked pretty cool. Then another car passed by. I swear I seen that guy looking at me from inside the car. It was fucking weird, but anyways, a bus passed by and I forgot it was school time. I forgot it was that time of year. I didn't really know if some people had moved out or not, or if it was just a gloomy day. Then, a bus had arrived. Kids were running towards it. I had an idea. Maybe if I had went on the bus, I could start a new life like a normal kid. I boarded the bus as I entered a new chapter of my life. One that I may have made a mistake boarding onto this bus. I didn't really know how long it would take to get there or how school would be like. This decision I made, I had jumped the gun and dived deep into the unknown. This decision I made, I had jumped the gun and dived deep into the unknown. The teachers welcomed me to K-12. The only place where there is hell on earth. July 4th, the most dangerous fucking day of the year. So, I was in the asylum for so long that I forgot that people threw bombs up into the air on this particular day to celebrate one of the most scariest and dangerous days I've ever witnessed in New York City. Even a police vehicle had ran over a firecracker as it exploded under it. I didn't get to see if they got in trouble or not because I was trying to stay away. I remember this terrible memory back then when I was broken. I sat on the toilet, but nothing happened. Soon enough, 